And while Indiana has seen a steady drop in reported COVID-19 cases since the middle of April, several states, including Florida, Arizona, and Texas, have seen a surge in their cases in just the past few weeks. RTV6's Cornelius Hawker talks to a doctor here in Indianapolis who doesn't want the same thing to happen to Indiana. He's begging people to remember the pandemic is not over and safety recommendations still apply. Dr. Christopher Belcher, an infectious disease specialist at Ascension St. Vincent, has been on the front lines of the pandemic since so, the spring. You know, really at the beginning, we were struggling to keep afloat. We were flailing in the water. But that's not the case anymore. Now we're at a good pace uh, swimming, but you can't ask us to go much faster. Whether people are protesting racial injustices or sitting outside enjoying a meal on Mass Ave, these last few weeks have been full of folks ignoring some, if not all, the guidance given to us by doctors guidance that everyone needs to be reminded of, according to Dr. Belcher. Social distancing, keeping that physical distance of at least six feet uh, between people is very important, as well as wearing masks, as well as if you're in a high risk group, just avoiding um, social situations as much as you can. And he can sympathize with those of us getting tired of wearing a mask every time we leave the house. Doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, people in hospital who have to wear them their entire shift there. Uh, we feel for you. We know exactly what it's like to have those masks on, but it is very important. Very important because your decision to wear a mask could save somebody's life. This virus is mostly spread by these respiratory droplets, spread by uh, talking, sneezing, coughing, um, and they're large and they can be easily captured by a mask and you can prevent someone else from getting sick. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, RTV6. Public health experts say more testing is not the reason behind the increase of positive tests in certain states. Otherwise, there will be a surge everywhere. They point to businesses reopening and people relaxing social distancing guidelines as the culprit.